Hi, my name is Kapil. I am an ETL architect with plenty of experience in data warehousing concepts. I am mainly on ETL tools like Talent, Data Stage, SSIS, Informatica. I have about five years of experience in big data tools such as Hadoop and Spark. I am a certified Open Studio for data integration developer and I am a certified Talent big data developer and also certified Talent real-time big data developer. And I am also a certified Hortonworks Hadoop developer. I think that's enough about me. Let's talk about the course. This course starts from the basics of talent and as we progress in the course, we shift towards advanced topics. It focuses on the basic functionality of the studio and how it can be used to build reliable, maintainable data integration tasks that solve practical problems such as extracting data from common databases or extracting data from web services, requesting web services and extracting data from different file formats, then transforming the data and integrating this data into targets, generating XML files, reading from XML files and etc. This course was designed in such a way I will talk about what a component is and what are its properties and in what scenarios it can be used. And let's see some of the topics that we cover in this course. We talk about how to create a talent project, how to create a talent job. We will talk about what a talent open studio is, what are the options, toolbars that are available in the studio how to install talent and how to design a business model, how to run a talent job, how to build a visual, visual model of a talent job, how to copy existing job, how to create context and global variables, what are those, designing a talent standard job, processing the data and how to filter the data, how to join it, how to look up, how to get sample of data and we do much much more if you see we have plenty of lectures that does different stuff like for example how to write data to an ldif file how to auto cache data types how to join two tables how to filter input rows how to filter columns and how to monitor data processed in the run console and so many other topics then it's your turn. You will get to do multiple exercises. As of this recording, we have about 70 exercises, which will take almost 20 hours of your time. And these exercises involve the components that you learned from my lectures. And these exercises are very much related to real work scenarios. Let's see an example exercise question. So here we have a question which says read and parse a file with header, trailer, detail, record types. So let's read this question. So create a job that reads from certain file, then write header data to one file, detail data to second file and trailer data to third file. And here I have given a hint which says header data is the data which starts with H and trailer data is the data that starts with T and detail data is the data that starts with T. And once I explained or given you this exercise, it's your turn. Your output should look something like this. So it's up to you to which component should I use to do this particular exercise or how should I design the job in such a way I have to get this output, it's up to you. So if you are stuck doing an exercise, of course I am providing you all the code for these exercises, but I don't recommend you to look at the jobs before you even give it a try once. Otherwise you won't learn it. And not just exercises, we have almost 150 plus questions similar to the ones asked in the real certification talent exams. And once you finish this course, I guarantee you you will be able to use Talent Open Studio for data integration for real work as quickly as possible. 